Right guys, today I've got a beautiful puzzle by Murphit Regency Australia and this one is a puzzle within a puzzle or clandestine cliches and I will need your help to find all the 56 cliches. And don't worry, I'll explain everything in a second just in case you are feeling a bit confused. Alright, so as usual, let's start by sorting this puzzle which is by the way 550 large pieces as you can see here. So let's do it. And after 150 years, this is what I got on my trays. All the sorting is now done. I've got two trays full of white pieces. So I'm guessing by now that this is not going to be an easy puzzle to solve. And before I forget, if you haven't noticed yet, yes, this has been sorted by color and I ended up with four trays full of colorful pieces. And no surprises there, the last tray is the borders or edges. And look at the size of these things, I'm really impressed. And just to zhizh things a little bit for this puzzle, I've decided to start with some really random shapes. And because I'm not looking at the reference image, I have no idea what it is at this stage. So please feel free to pause the video right now and let me know what you think this was. And by the way guys, the illustrator for this puzzle, Gil Eisner, apparently from what I understood, he was a really famous sports person. He won several championships on fencing and later became a sports illustrator for several newspapers including the New York Times. Okay, so by now you probably guess already what this is. I think it is the man that's right in the middle of the puzzle and he is supposed to be a criminal carrying a cake. And please remember, we are looking for cliches. So I can see another one there. It says, it too brute, which refers to Julius Caesar when he looked at his friend and he says, even you Brutus. Oh my God. So now I see a mouse wearing some clothing and also a thumb with a rule. So think about that. Okay, guys, before we continue with this, let's check what the Cambridge Dictionary says about cliches. It is a phrase, remark or opinion that has been used so much that it lost its meaning or it is not interesting. Something or someone that is not at all original, surprising or interesting because it has very often been seen or done. Wikipedia says a cliché is an element of an artistic work, saying or idea that has become overused to the point of losing its original meaning or effect, even to the point of being weird or irritating. But anyway, let's get to our puzzle, eh? And as I am dealing with a horse with very unusual long legs, I can see already an ace in a hole on the top there, so think about that as well. And also, I can see some sort of X in a grave. So far, so good. I'm really enjoying this. It is not very difficult because uh, most of the colors are really distinct. However, one of the things that's actually bugging me about this puzzle is the fact that all the pieces have exactly the same shape. And for anyone out there who is brand new to jigsaw puzzles, do you actually know why this happens? Should we have a look? Let's do it. For a very long time, jigsaw puzzles have been cut using templates like this, which uses a very sharp die cutter. And because all of those templates are made by hand by a professional, and it takes up to 400 hours for them to complete one puzzle template, the simpler the template, the less work the technician will have making it. And consequently, the template will end up being a lot cheaper for the jigsaw puzzle companies to buy them. But back to our puzzle.
a bird in a hand, it's worth more than two in the bush. And I think this guy is biting the bullet. Could this be Time Flies? Right, so I got to the part now where all the pieces are white and if you look closely, some of them, they give you some sort of indication or shadows on the side, like this one here, you see? It's slightly darker than the one on the right. So that is the only thing that I can use to help me now. And trust me, this part was a real struggle, like because the pieces were exactly the same shape, there was no way for me to know where they would go. So if they didn't have any shade or any markings on them, or maybe a line somewhere, I had to try some of the pieces multiple dozens of times until one fit in. So you can imagine, it took me about more than an hour to finish just this part here. And finally, it's raining dogs and cats. Now this uh, cloud here was not actually as quick and easy as I thought. I struggled a little bit, but not as much as, you know, the struggle that I had with the white parts. Okay, so here is the completed puzzle. There were no pieces missing, thank goodness. So I'll let you have a look now before we talk about all the cliches. And again, I will need your help to find some of them because some of them I might not be aware of. And finally, this is the part where you and I spot all the cliches. Please correct me if I'm wrong and please help me if I cannot identify some of them. Cliche number one, crocodile tears. Number two, burning a candle from both ends. Three, crying over spilt milk. Four, casting a shadow of a doubt. Number five, famous last words. I may need your help for this one. Number six, a tip of the old block, perhaps? Seven, ace in a hole. Now, I have no idea what this X represents, so please let me know in the comments what you think this might be. Eight, behind the eight ball. Nine, a square pig in a round hole. Ten, killing two birds with one stone. Now, this is another one that I could not find any answer for, so please help me. What is this? 11. Drunk as a fish. And 12. Holy mackerel. 13. Fighting tooth and nail. 14. Letting the cat out of the bag. 15. A can of worms. Number 16. Clam shut. Number 17. The pot calling the kettle black. And number 18. A prize kettle of fish. 19. Drunk as a skunk. 20. Takes the cake. 21 and 22 caught red-handed and also caught by the long arm of the justice 23 wearing your heart on your sleeve 24 the five o'clock shadow 25 biting the bullet 26 grabbing the bull by the horns 27 kicking the bucket 28 
with a foot in your mouth. 29. Shoot the ball. 30. A cart before the horse. 31. Robbing Peter to pay Paul. 32. Adding insult to injury. 33. Chasing rainbows. Now I may need your help as well with this one. I have no idea what this actually means. 34 and 35. Ahead of times and behind the times. 36. It's raining cats and dogs. 37. Time flies. 38. American pie. 39. Light at the end of the tunnel. 40. Get off your high horse. 41. Sitting on the fence. 42. Wolf in sheep's clothing. 43. Poor as a church mouse. 44. Rule of thumb. 45. A train of thoughts. And finally, 46. The sign of the times. Okay, guys, this is it. I only got 46 out of 56 cliches. So please let me know in the comments if you recognize anything that I haven't mentioned in this video. I would really appreciate that. But it is time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoy my videos, check out the playlist for the game plays. And if you want to see my collection of jigsaw puzzles, please check this playlist on the bottom here. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.